Well, hello and welcome to another Chippy Review by Dave. This week we are going to uh, preview, what do we call review, the Grilled Pepper Steak by Smith's. They are from the Sizzle to Your Summer range. They do have two chips in this range, the Grilled Pepper Steak and the Grilled Chicken and Lime with Chili. We will review in our next video the chicken and lime chips. I do have them here. I just thought we'd do one packet per review. There was no review last week. Sorry about that, folks. Just that wasn't. These reviews are not sponsored by Smith's or whoever we're look, reviewing the product from. So be it that, that I've had to go and buy these my own, source these my own, and this review is my own opinion. It's a review, not an advertising, so I'm not paid to say any of this. Okay, these are from Smith's. Now, these are done as a one take, uh, no editing wonder. We try to keep it rough and simple because it's all about chippies, one of my uh, favourite things. So here they are Smith's Grilled Pepper Steak. Uh, they say they are, there are. There are two sounds guaranteed to make your mouth water the crunch of Smith's chips and the sizzle of a summer barbecue. Enjoy our new limited edition taste that combines the delicious flavour of juicy grilled steak with black pepper. Have you tried our other new summer sizzlers flavour? No, we will do them later. So that's what that says on the back. I believe these are available in Woolies and Coles and all over the place. Go looking for them if you want them. If not, don't go looking for them. That's what they look, look like. Nice blue packet. Uh, not a very good health rating, but that's okay. Right, what we do is, is, with no further ado, we will open the packet, hold it up to the camera. They are a crinkle cut chip. Big crunchy slices. Let's have a sniff. This smells like a packet of chips. Okay, so that's what they look like. Crinkle, chip, crinkle, crinkle cut chip. Dave, get it out. And um, we'll taste it. Well, they're not too bad. They're not, my, my fear was they'd be over peppery. I don't like lots of pepper. But they just taste like a, a barbecued flavoured chip with a little bit of extra on it. But like I said, my fear was that they'd be over peppery, but they're not. They're not bad. They're gluten free. So I saw them label. I would eat those. I may buy another packet of those and eat, just if I wanted to eat some chips. Um, but they're not too bad. Yeah, I don't mind them. I, I would actually eat them. They would not be, they're not going to replace my favourite salt and vinegar. They're not bad. They're not bad. I could easily um, finish the rest of the packet by myself. Not going to. Not going to, folks. Always put that there. Um, I do share with the other members of the household to get flavours and opinions. Uh, the chips, we don't eat them in one session. A packet of chips like this, a family size, can last me the way I nibble on them. I have a few put them away. They can last a week. Here. Except salt and vinegar, but anyway. Okay, now because we uh, didn't do a video last week, we're going to do an extra special review. I found these at a 7-Eleven in Canberra. Uh, a 7-Eleven, I actually was quickly grabbing a bottle of water from the 7-Eleven, and there was a deal where if you bought these chips and got the water, you got it cheaper, so I bought these. I haven't opened them, so I bought them. Uh, French fry, see, I thought they were a, a Smith's product, but they're not. Now, I'm going to tell you a bit of a story, because I did some reverse... These are made by, let's swap screens, there we go, a company called Snack Brands Australia, and they do the CCs, the Fins, the Kettle Chips, uh, the Natural Chip Co., that range. They do cheesels. They also do French fries. Now, if you go onto their French fries section, they mention the French fries. Uh, they do mention the salt and vinegar French fries. Aren't too bad, I like those. They do mention the multi-pack. I don't like the chicken ones. We've had those here. I've bought them. 
just to eat the uh, French fries and the chicken ones, uh, to eat the vinegar and the basic ones. I don't like the chicken ones. So the toy. They don't mention anywhere this flavour. Now, these may be, every now and then you have stuff that is 7-Eleven release only. So these may only be in 7-Eleven Quickie Mart service stations, whatever they call them. But they are, I like French fries. I saw these, I thought, ooh, they're interesting. So they may, may only be, be warned, they may only be available in 7-Eleven service. So I thought we would try them as an added bonus. A little bonus. And look at the package. I've got an itchy nose. I'm not going to scratch it while recording. So here we go. Now, they're a French fry style of chips. Nice yellow packet. Ooh, they, they, they smell like French fries. As in the McDonald's, they smell a bit like McDonald's fries when they're, you know, freshly... Mm, I, I do like that smell. That's not a bad... Ooh, that's not a bad flavour. They actually taste a lot like McDonald's, terrible, a McDonald's um, Big Mac. Like the Big Mac. You know when you get the fries and you dip them in the Big Mac sauce when, it's, when it spills on the thing and you just want to eat the sauce? That's what they taste like. Oh, they're good. Now, I do like those. I could eat those. Ooh. I will have to avoid 7-Elevens for a while because I don't know how long they're going to... Oh, they're very good. Ooh. Go back a page. Bring that up there. So they are... I'm doing this live on the run. They are these. They are French fries. They are a burger sauce flavour. They are very yummy. They are recommended by me. They taste really good and they taste like a burger sauce. They really do. Ooh. This packet probably won't be shared with anybody. Now, I'm going to tell a story about these chips because they're really good. I like them. I probably thought they were going to be good or they'd be tasty and I'd never see them again. So a uh, bit of a confession. I actually have two packets of them. Because I thought if they're really good and I never see them again... I'm going to regret that. So, ladies and gents, not only do I have one packet that I'm eating now, and I'm probably going to finish, I have a second packet here. Okay, so let's uh, quick review what we've done. We've reviewed uh, the grilled pepper steak. Yeah, they're okay. They're edible. Don't mind eating them. I could probably eat those. But these little wonders, they're wonderful. They're really good. Now, it means I may have to haunt 7-Eleven servos just to get some of those because I actually they're really good they're lovely and they're yummy and um they're going to be consumed by me they won't last the week out they probably won't even last the day out but anyway catch you next time talk to you later have a good week have a good time I've been Dave this has been my chippy review for this week <laughs>